Come with me. Come with me. Come with me. Come here. Check out my cool train. Check out my cool train. It's so cool. It's so cool. Oh, burn! Oh! Oh my gosh! Oh, that worked so much better than I expected it to. Shoot dang, everybody! It's a new day here at GT Not Live, where today we're completing Choo Choo Charles! All aboard the party train, because it's about to leave the station! Uh, for those of you who don't know, this is part three of our playthrough of Choo Choo Charles. We have done egg collection, we have gotten ourselves rocket launchers, our train is purple, and we wouldn't have it any other way. And now it's just time to, I guess, collect two more eggs and wrap this thing up. Like, we've done all the random missions at every other part of the island, and now we're just in, like, what feels like the last two story missions to finish this thing off. So, that's where we're at. Shoot dang, it's gonna be a good day here. We met Pickle Lady, we bonded with Pickle Lady, we got her pickles, that was very exciting. Just across the board, just very exciting game. Uh, I, <laughs> I think it's fun. Uh, I've been having a blast with it. Ash, real quick. Completely unrelated to everything, but this is very important for me to ask you. Okay, sure. Are you a fan of the music of LaRue? Ooh, Bulletproof. Yeah. I know that song. Do you like it or no? I do like it. Okay. Does anyone ever told you that you look like LaRue? <laughs> that is, honestly, I've kind of wanted to look like LaRue since I was like 11. Okay, because you, you definitely look like LaRue on a casual day. Thank you. Like without the hair, like the like intense hair swoop that like comes out and takes. I don't. I don't know how what magic holds it up. Uh, for those of you who don't know, Larue, uh, big, you know, probably most popular song obviously is Bulletproof. Bulletproof. This time maybe. I'll... Anyway, it is Ollie's favorite song right now. Oh, loves man. it because he's really into chip tunes. He's really into like club dance music right now like he's very much into like lady gaga and like telephone and stuff like he likes things with interesting sound effects he likes chiptune music and bulletproof is like an interesting fusion of all of that stuff because you have this like electronica feel you've got kind of like some chiptune sound effects in there uh but it has the like same dance beat that a lot of the, those other kind of like club hits have and so that was one thing but he also likes seeing the album art cover for a lot of this stuff, so he, like, understands. And he can say, like, oh, I want Bulletproof by LaRue, because that's how you request it on Google. And I think it's always important to know, like, the artists who are doing the songs, so that way you just build a mental library of music in your head. Um, and so he saw LaRue's picture, and he's like, that looks like Ash! And I'm like, yes, it does Aww, look like Ash. Ollie. So I'm going to ask Ash if, one, they're a fan <laughs> of LaRue, and two, if anyone's ever told them that they look like LaRue. So. Oh, gosh. So... That the, warms my heart. Yeah, in the eyes of my four-year-old and also me. Like, honestly, like, I'm like, it does look like Ash, absolutely. <laughs> so you are you are casual LaRueing. Thank you. Yeah, no problem. Do you have, um, are there, like, celebrities that you've been told that you look like? Uh, any generic brunette <laughs> white guy. <laughs> like, let's be honest, I have been compared to so many generic white guys. Hit me and with some. Everyone from uh, Tom Cruise to the lead singer of The Killers. Like, I mean, <laughs> and every generic brunette white guy in between. <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah. Uh, there's also been, like, a, a lot of historic pictures uh, where people are like, I found this, like, old historic, like, Russian royalty member that looks like you as a time traveler or whatever. I'm like, okay, yep, sure. You know, that I've, makes sense. I've seen, like, old Russian images that have people that look like you. Yeah. Maybe it's the same image. It, right? That might be it. Whoa. That might be it. Uh, you know, when Dream did his face reveal, everyone's like, oh, it's like Kirkland brand MatPat. So I got that a lot, uh, which is why we did a whole theory about whether Dream is my son or not, which to this day, is, I actually love that episode. I think it's really fun. <laughs> that was one of the ones that, like, you know, at this point in the show, I, and I think you guys know this at this point, but at this point in, in game theory, film theory, food theory, it, you know, we have researchers who help us write and research things just because I can't be an expert on everything. We're balancing a lot of different stuff. Um, we have a lot of talent on the team, all that stuff. And so... I will either co-write things with people or people will research it and then send it to me and then I'll like do a pass and polish and things like that. 
But uh, that dream episode is one of the ones in recent memory that was completely researched, written by me, soup to nuts. No one else touched it. That was that was entirely mine. Uh, the the more recent uh, FNAF theory that we did on um, on the origins of Freddy's that was another one that was entirely mine. Like so, there's a couple that are just like still to this day. Like this is mine, and I'm old, due to the nature of like timing or how fast it needs to turn around or just like where the schedule's at. If there's like a gap, it's like okay, I'll I'll you know pump one out, pump one out. <laughs> um, or like ones that I've been kicking around in the back of my mind for a while, things like that. So yeah. but yeah, that that one was a fun one. Yes. Um, but yeah, so anyway, long story short, yes, I've been compared to a lot of different people over the years. I'm like, I've never been compared to LaRue before. I always... I'm shocked by that, actually, because really? I think the resemblance is, is... I mean, yeah, you both have, like, short red hair, but also, like, I think your facial features and stuff match pretty well, too. Because oh, I always, and I mean always, hear Arya Stark. Oh, my gosh! I absolutely... Yeah. Oh, my... Come on! What? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? Oh my gosh, no, it's funny that you bring that up, because I had not really thought about that, but now you're like, oh, this is cr crazy! There's a Starbucks I go to that whenever one barista sees me, he goes, oh, are you, you're that Arya Stark person! Yeah. And I'm like, yeah, it's good to see you again! And then, because the first time he saw me, he's like, oh my gosh, you're like Arya Stark. Um, I've been told that. I see that, oh my gosh! Ugh, like, Darn it! Going to like theater shows, working in shows... I went to like. It made no sense for you to kill the Night King. What were you doing? <laughs> what was I doing? What were you doing, Arya? Come on. I went Why? to this. Ugh. Sorry, spoiler alert for anyone who did. Don't, don't watch the end of Game of Thrones. <laughs> well, go just skip over to the House of Dragons. It's so much better. Uh, just skip that whole last season. It doesn't matter. She she was great. I loved her as an actress. What happened? Where'd she go? She did she did X Men: The New Mutants, which you know. It's unfortunate for her. It had a lot of potential. The, the trailers Maisie made it look so good. To? Right? What is Maisie? Where's Maisie? Because she was also popping around on YouTube for a while, too. She was collabing with a bunch of people. Maybe Maisie Williams will sit down on this couch with me in the near future, and then Maisie and you could have, like, an Arya Stark off. <laughs> and then the off. two of you could, like, be, like, sisters from other misters. <laughs> and... We'll be like, will the real Arya Stark please stand up? Or like, we'll swap you two. We'll do, we'll do like a, a little uh, shuffle of the two of you, and then the audience will have to decide which one oh of you gosh. is Maisie Williams and which one is Ash, unseen wow. figment of my imagination, who pops up every <laughs> once in a while. That's incredible. Which one is? And then we'll have Larue on here too, <laughs> and then we can really do a good shell game. And then I'll shuffle. I'll put big cups on top of you, and then I'll shuffle you around like this. Oh we'll shuffle, gosh. shuffle, shuffle. And then it'll have to be, okay, who was LaRue, who was Maisie Williams, and who and is Ash? Figment of Matt Pat's imagination, Ash. Wow. I love it. That's that's content right there. That that that'd be fun. <laughs> that's that's content. That's my multiverse of madness. That, that, <laughs> that is that is our multiverse of madness. <laughs> oh, I love it. Okay. So you look up what Maisie Williams is up to. Yep. Okay, I'm gonna hop into Choo Choo Charles, because if we're having if we're gonna beat this, we gotta actually do it. You yeah, know? we gotta hustle. We, we gotta play the game. We gotta hustle. This this train is leaving the station. It's got a schedule to keep, you know? So, when last we left off, like I said, we had gotten a bunch of stuff. Uh, we did a bunch of side quests. We fixed a lighthouse for that poor girl off on the side. We got a dollar from the guy who told us to leap to the top of the, like, wreckage at the middle of the island. There's been a, there's been a lot going on. And, let's see, when last we left off... We were here, we're doing this NPC mission that's required for things. We're gonna get a weapon, and then we got our last, I believe, required mission. So, we're gonna run through all that. Also, I hear spooky train sounds in the distance. Not all great. Okay. <clears throat> At last night's meeting, Greg told us a crazy conspiracy about Warren trying to use spider trains for world domination. As part of the crew that worked in the temple, I'm far from convinced. While the prism was extracting the life energy from a batch of eggs, Charles attacked us for the first time. Not only did he fight like heck while the eggs were being destroyed, but he nearly doubled in size. Wow, he nearly doubled in size as we fought. As if he were consuming the energy. So a train that's able to... So not only is this an alien entity, or like a spider-esque entity that's able to take over the body of an existing train. Oh, yeah, okay, well, seems like Charles is attacking us based on him cowering in fear from this very bright window. 
Oh, it's okay, bud. It's okay. Don't worry. Charles can't hurt you. We're in a very ramshackle wooden wooden shelter. He can't touch us. We proved last episode that this very basic, very open wood structure. Look, he, he, look, he can't do anything, bud. Look, you're, pro you're protected. That's, that's pretty unsettling, but at the same time. <laughs> Don't worry. This corrugated metal roof will keep us totally fine. Yeah, get dumped on, Charles. I, I heard you doubled in size from an egg, but... <laughs> What's... You ain't got nothing, train boy. All right! Get, get out of here, train boy. Go go strike fear into someone who's actually scared of you. Uh, okay, those of us who survived... Uh, his legs grew larger and stronger. His face grew more distorted. Right before our eyes, those of us that survived couldn't even fathom what we witnessed. That was when Warren hid the eggs and ordered us to protect him. That was when he began evacuating people. That was when everything turned for the worse. I know Warren has plenty of skeletons in his closet, but I can't help thinking he might actually be looking out for us this time. All right, cool. Ah, I love it. One second he's cowering in fear from, from Charles. The next second he's doing the casual lean. Also, the fact that he's blood soaked is very concerning. Hey, what you doing, man? Don't mind me, just doing my casual lean in my blood soaked shirt. I'll, I'll wait here. If you want to change your outfit, it's okay. You know, that, that blood soaked shirt is probably uncomfortable for you. The fit of it is probably bad. You know, when you get blood in things and it dries, it makes it all kind of crispy and uncomfortable. You know, it's, it's a little bit stiff all of a sudden. You also want to get those blood stains out fast. Because if you don't get those blood stains out fast, my man, like, they're gonna completely ruin that shirt. I, I gotta be honest, I, I, yeah, I know there's a spooky train. It's, it's fine, but let's talk to you about your hygiene. Let's talk to you about your laundry situation here. Because again, you're gonna have to, like, uh, shout that out. You know, a little stain and wash. A little, little, like, rub it in. One of those little goo powders. Those little goos that you squeeze onto your shirt, and then they come with the stiff plastic bristles and you dig it into the shirt a little bit to like mix it in there, get it all up in those fibers, clean those fibers out. <laughs> and then after that, you put it in the wash. But make sure you double check. <laughs> Just stall it for time here while Charles is attacking us. <laughs> I, I want to progress with my mission. But you know, make sure you check the stain before you put it in the dryer. Because if you put it in the dryer and the stain's still in there, that's gonna be permanently baked in, my man. It's gonna be permanently baked in. That's gonna be bad for you. You're not gonna be able to get rid of it. So make sure, if it, if it needs a second wash, maybe even a third wash, that's totally okay, that's totally normal. I mean, that's, that's a lot of blood soak in there. It's a lot of blood soak. <laughs> Can I move on with the game now? <laughs> on one hand, I want to. On the other hand, I know as soon as I like make myself visible, I feel like Charles is going to attack again. The Archivist, in all your radiant glory. Radiant glory. You entrusted me with a key to one of the mines containing an egg. Okay. But before I give it to you, I have to warn you about something. Are there, are there cultists? There's an ancient shrine on the island, a pyramid of sorts, with a curious prism located at the top. Yep. The prism seems to have been designed for one purpose, to destroy monster eggs. It's very odd, but I feel like there are other ways to destroy eggs, but sure. Three slots are carved into the prism, which perfectly fit the eggs. When fully loaded, a massive beam of energy is emitted. Sky beam. Seemingly drawn from the eggs themselves. The wow, you know a lot about this. Will lure Charles to a mortal fight as he comes in defense of the eggs. Now for the real warning. Charles has the ability to absorb energy from the burst, strengthening and enraging him. I love that every note found next to the person that's giving you a mission basically reiterates the exact same thing that the person is telling you. Just like, hey, in case you didn't get it the first time, here's that lore again. Just, you know, so we're all on the same page. I saw it once before, and he may become even more dangerous this time. Okay. However, it's not my place to oppose, despite the danger. So... Here's the mine key. Thank you. Once you have retrieved all the eggs and the key to the shrine, we might just be able to end this hell. Great. That's the thing with repeated information though, right? Like- Oh, it's in the middle. Come on, man. Yeah, that is pretty far out that's, there. That's way out there. We were doing like all those other missions out there. Okay, well, oh, there's Charles. He's, he was just peeking out over the hill and you're like, scurry away. <laughs> he's, he's, oh, okay. Dude, I'm not gonna leave this shelter. I understand that you're very eager to attack me. Just, just go, man. Just, yeah, well, 
So I guess we'll come back to that in a minute. We're gonna do this one since this is next up on our to-do list. We're gonna have to fight Charles on He's in that mood where he's in a fighting mood right now. Yeah. He's he's itching for a fight. Pretty feisty. Ah, doing my casual lean again. Alright. Where's my train? Where's my train at? <laughs> Get ready for a fight. Uh, boop, boop. And away! Chugga chugga choo choo! So I have to go back and look. Yeah. But we apparently oh. did miss a can of paint. No! To paint the train black. Really? We did? We missed the black? black one. Yeah. Oh, we are. Oh. Well, oh. No. well this, this isn't pretty. Oh, geez. Oh, we did. Well, that's fine. We only lost one scrap. It's okay. I'm not. I'm not too broken up about it. We were heading in the wrong direction. That's why we've been spending our scrap along the way. That way, we don't lose as much scrap. So I'm. I'm good with that. We're also trying to go in reverse. This is a hot mess. <laughs> but anyway, we've started the next mission. I'm okay with that. Gets Charles off our back for a little bit, hopefully. Cool. Here we go. So. We've got our mission, we've got our thing, we're gonna travel in reverse. In reverse, I think this way. Chugga chugga woo woo! There we go. And away we go! Oh, look at all these houses that are probably full of things like scrap and other. Oh wow, we are at zero. Oh. There we go. That's, that's better. There we go, leap! Hey guys, I'm looking for a weapon. Although my flamethrower works pretty darn well. I do like it. So, the fabled hunter has fired. She's got the arm thing too! You know, my Not all of them have the arm thing. built a gun to help fight Charles, but Warren's goons stole the barrels and took him up to their camp. Ugh, Bob jerks. was such a brave man. Much braver than you, I bet. It's not really inspiring me to help you in your quest to get rid of the evil if train take demon. what I have left of the gun and steal back those other parts, you can put it back together to use against Charles. Just Great. do me one favor, will you? If you do end up using it, name it Bob in memory of my <laughs> honey. That's awesome. Aww. Oh, that is awesome. I. She's kind of mean and ordinary, but oh, ow! <laughs> oh jeez! <laughs> Apparently the barbed wire can actually injure you. I don't know what I fully expected there, but okay. Um, wow, Gertrude and Bob forever, man. Yeah, right. That they, I stand. I stand. She's a bit ornery, but I I respect her defense system here. I also love the fact that you know that she's she's still true to her man. You know that's really sweet. I am I am bummed to hear that we have lost. Oh wow, there's a lot of missions over there, so that's good to know, actually. So we'll continue doing some missions over there. Uh, let's just pick up our last one then. Leap. So wait, where was the black paint? I don't know. Oh, um, great. <laughs> that's that's why I said I have to look for it. But it, it was hidden. It was obscured. Apparently, many people have missed it. Oh, because it's because it's black and sneaky. <laughs> it it hides in the shadows. <laughs> It probably was hidden in the shadows. Right. I'm, oh, I'm sure. I'm sure it must have been hidden in the shadows. Because have you noticed how slow and methodical I am in this game? Like, <laughs> how could I possibly miss something? I'm playing this at a snail's pace. Everyone did this like weeks ago. No one has played this game slower. Mutiny meeting notes. I've discussed our latest battle plan with everyone, and nobody had objections. The whole crew knows what to do and will set the track's directions accordingly when the time comes. All the archivist needs to focus on is pummeling that beast, keeping his distance, and keeping Charles to his weakest point. And getting Charles to his weakest point. My father should be back within two days, at which point we can supply him and the hunter with the keys and the other supplies we've gathered. We never wanted to take such harsh action against Warren and the other miners, but he's twisted our arms too long. Charles needs to go and Warren won't stand in our way. All right. So one thing I'm wondering, is there secret lore in this game? It feels very pretty put out there, pretty direct. So I, I'd like to do a theory about this game. But at the same time, I'm like, a lot of this is pretty explicitly spelled out. Unless I mean, someone has ulterior motives. I'm thinking a lot about the um, 
the tablet that we found at the beginning of the game. Where it was like a spider monster from prehistoric times? Yeah. I remember that. Stakeout summary, day three, location four. I've been staking out this area for days, and Charles has never crossed the old wood bridge. Somehow the beast is cunning enough to know that it's dangerous. But if he's angry and desperate, he might just chase someone onto it, across across it then bam we use john's bombs to blow the whole thing up and charles falls face first into the canyon Bomb. if the blast doesn't kill him the fall will okay so that's where we have to defeat charles then is across the old wood bridge i'm assuming they will put it on my map because i do not know where that is there are no bridges to be found <laughs> as i look so i'm just gonna trust that fate and the game will explain it to me you're the archivist my father told me archivist. about. Archivist, there you go. Although, I'm disappointed to see that he chose to stay on the mainland rather than return with you. What a wuss. Why would he not put his life on the line? Not to say that your help isn't appreciated, but we could have used his aid as well. If you haven't already heard from the others, the mine boss Warren is protecting dangerous monster eggs that could lead to catastrophe. While our yes, main plan is to summon Charles into a duel and fight him to the death, We've devised a perfect trap as a precaution that may help defeat him. Go attach these remote explosives to each of the support pillars under the wood bridge out there. Okay. Then meet me back here. Sure. Okay. Out there? Oh, hey, a mission that's actually really close by. Great. I will do that one first since that is required for the story. Out there is a world outside of Yonkers. <laughs> Thank you, Hello Dolly. <laughs> out there. There's a world outside of Yonkers. I love Cornelius Hackle. Um, Cornelius, that is a Hello Dolly reference. For those of you who have no clue what's going on, I was in Hello Dolly. You were? I was Barnaby Tucker. You were Barnaby? I was. Oh, There's man. a slick town, Barnaby. Yep, absolutely. I, I love that you played that role. That's awesome. Th those those roles are right up my alley. <laughs> like <laughs> like the, the innocent, well-meaning kind of nerdy but earnest characters yeah it's either it's either the innocent well-meaning earnest characters or it's the like uh going slightly crazy uh insane characters you know one of the yeah. two yeah the, ra the range yeah that's that's it <laughs> the ones who are slowly losing their mind and becoming insane yep that's me three four if you're you're like I have not seen Hello Dolly. You might not have seen it, but if you've seen Wally, then you've seen and heard parts of it. That's true. It is. It's they use it to great effect in that. Yes. Okay, here we go. Hopefully no one comes across me. But he's scared of the wood bridge, so he shouldn't come come up on me. This is the Arenarium Municipal. Okay, here we go. Yeah, it is a great show. It's yes. it's one, it's an older show. And for a while, I dismissed it as kind of like, oh, this is probably like Oklahoma or whatever. It is decidedly not. And it's very good. That's okay. the tallest and weakest bridge on the island. So if Charles ever crosses it, we can blow him sky high. Great. I'll be on standby to detonate the charges, but it's still up to you to summon and fight him. Great. Here, take this. It's the key to the temple. All right. Once you think you're prepared enough, you can break in and fight the battle of a lifetime. Awesome. Ayo. Battle of a lifetime. So where's that one going? Oh, gee. everything is in the middle here. Okay, Battle of a Lifetime is there. So let's get this monster egg, and then we can pick up the weapon and the monster egg. And look, it's our shopping list. We're all good. We're all good. Uh, did I put my marker on this guy? I, I did, yes. I just want to make sure. Yeah, Hello Dolly was one that I dismissed for a long time, mm -hmm. and then I eventually got a role, like a professional theater role in it. Uh, or like I was up for it, so I'm like, let me look into it. And I'm like, oh, this is actually great. Yeah. And it's so not what I expected it to be. Uh, it is very different kind of than what my assumptions of it were, which which is nice. Um, oh, jeez. Oh, this guy, oh. Oh, these guys are finding me. Oh, no. Ow. Shoot. Also, I think we might have run over one of these. One of these little fellas. Yeah. When we were leaving that house with the guy who was um, yeah. wanting the box. Oh, and we I, were. I think we ran him over <laughs> when we went backwards. You know, it's just the cost of doing business sometimes, Ash. <laughs> oh, wow. Even small jumps hurt so bad, my poor ankles. Okay. So here we go. That guy 
So I think we got to get a little bit closer to where that mine is. So that way, maybe we can... I Again, I'm assuming that you either have to sneak the whole way or you have to, like, pick them off at a distance. Oh, there's, there's some scrap there. I missed it. That's it. Right? On one hand, though, like, they're, they're, it's out in the middle of nowhere, so... Yeah. It's like, all right, well, I guess, I guess that's it. It's like nowhere is actually close to this thing. It's like, all right. That is the one thing I will say is I wish... Hey! Actually, it's something I could oh. see. He's already found me. Okay, wait, he's found me. Ah! Oh! Oh! Oof. Big oof. Come with me. Come with me. Come with me. Come here. Check out my cool train. Check out my cool train. It's so cool. It's so cool. Oh, burn! Oh! Oh, my gosh! Oh, that worked so much better than I expected it to. Oh, no! Well, <laughs> problem solved. Oh my gosh, what? <laughs> oh no. What? Hey, you know, sometimes you just got a flamethrower attached to the back of your train and you got to use it. So true. Uh, wow, that was, that was remarkably brutal. I feel kind of bad about it. Okay. Ooh. Some scrap. Since we're on the topic of musical theater, by the way. Mm -hmm. Uh, if anyone has ever seen or ever heard of The Full Monty, which is a musical version of the uh, the British like comedy movie about a group of blue collar workers who kind of like find themselves and their families through doing like an amateur strip night, <laughs> which sounds a lot worse than it is. It's not that it's like that's awesome. It, it's not nearly gra like it's it's not graphic at all. Like they. You know, you don't see anything or whatever, but it is a fantastic musical. One of my all-time favorites. Ooh. And uh, the opening song is titled Scrap, which is the reason I brought it up. So me collecting scrap is is not completely out of nowhere. It's actually got a purpose. But, um, but the opening song is so good. Uh, the, the harmonies and stuff are so good. It immediately tells you where all the characters sit. Uh, okay, which way is the way forward, do we think? I think that this is the side. This is the side way, which I was right. Okay, so there's literally, literally nothing here. Okay, great. Maybe I can lower that track? And that'll give me an escape route? This area is really pretty, though. Right? It's gorgeous. I mean, for it is a de demonic mine. So, you know, you would expect to see some, like, supernatural weird colors or something. Okay, so I, I remember we got a stealth and peek. Okay, I hear him whistling. I hear him whistling. Wait. Okay. I think it's cute that they whistle while they work. Right. They just love their job. Just love their job. Sounds quieter now. Hopefully I'm going the right way. <laughs> the last guy was going clockwise. So, I, oh no. Shouldn't be here! Oh, get out of oh, here! No! Come on! Be a chump. Is there a way to hide now? Lose him? Oh, make sure nobody goes me. Oh, jeez, if you see it, it shouldn't take it. Oh my gosh, shoot him immediately, okay. Okay, oh. well, well then. <laughs> Minus three! Oh Darn no. It. Darn it. <laughs> so, stealthing! Really? <laughs> like, it's a very high stakes game. And in order to stealth, you really. Uh, don't mind me, I'm just being sneaky right now. Okay. The stealthing element might be. might require a little bit of refinement. It sounds more like the, the goal of the game is charge in blindly, run as fast as you can. Loot. Get out. <laughs> but yeah, so anyway, uh, Full Monty, if you've never seen it, it's an in incredibly good musical. The music is great. The characters are great. Um, like, all the songs are really solid. I'm going to go this way. Okay, there he is. So see, he's going. See, he's mixing up. 
He's mixing it up. He's, he's tougher. He's going counterclockwise. So he's really advanced in this. He, he's, he's throwing us off. There's the island. Okay. Okay, here we go. Okay. He's like, ooh, okay. Oh, see, see, now this is what that first door needed. It needed something that I could, like, peek through. Now I can peek. In a game where you can't even crouch. You know. Having some ability to see where your enemies might be coming from is, is useful. Come on. Where you at, bud? I hear you. I hear you're whistling. All right, there he is. He'll never see me. around the corner. Okay, I'm assuming he's gone. Wait, Wait why do I still hear him? Is he coming back? Is he come back? Does he come back? Where'd you go? Yeah? What's your pattern? What is your pattern? I hear you. His whistles haunt my nightmares. Is his whistling coming through the walls? Through the ceiling? What? Is they're very loud, which implies that he's close. Okay, there he is. So he is just making a, a loop. I just heard him much, much earlier than I presumably should have. So there's a secret hatch or something? Okay, cool. Oh man, we've got we've got a robust evil base here. Two, one, two, three. Yeah! Oh blue. Dabu D, Dabu die. I live in a blue tree with a blue window. The more solemn sequel. Blue is the color of all of my gods. Okay. So, where is the thing that's gonna let me open up that large gate? You know? A large gate. I need to open it. So where? Can you see me when I turn the corner? No, you cannot. Okay. So where am I going to get that? Was there anything in here? Is there a switch somewhere? Does not appear to be. Okay. Mm -hmm. Oh, this large thing. <laughs> there it is. The you know the the Jew. So much joyful whistling from these awful murderous cultists. It's fine. <laughs> Their whistling comes from all over too. <laughs> I love that they can't even find a, the, the tune. Okay, which way do I go? Do I go this way? Do I go this way? Ooh, scrap. You shouldn't be here! Oh my god! <laughs> You're right, I shouldn't be here. Let me just run to the exit. Go, oh, go, 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 Get away! Leap! Don't face it, Oh no! Oh no! Oh no, this is bad news. Bad news bears. I'm gonna shoot you! No, please don't. I, I, I like that he announced his intentions, though. That was that was very thoughtful of him. I'm gonna I shoot hope you. You're fast. Duck and weave, duck and weave, duck and weave, duck and weave. 
upstairs. Woo! I don't know where my train is. Shoot! Where are your train? Where'd you go, buddy? Buddy! Where are you? There you are. Leap! Oh no! I've broken a leg! It has not affected my running speed though, thankfully. Burn! I use the power of burn. Burn. Get close. Please. Get closer. Right <laughs> Excellent! Th thank you for this. <laughs> I mean, I gave him ample warning of what I plan to do to him. Let's be honest. I feel slightly bad, but at the same time, he ran directly into the line of fire of that flame. So, he the only person to blame was himself. He warned you and you warned him. Exactly. There, there were warning shots fired. Let's move on. <laughs> And there were warnings before the warning shots were fired. Right, I, you know, I, I gave him a wide berth. I'm like, here you go, bud, this is totally, totally you. Warren's mob stole pieces of a new weapon. Okay, we're gonna grab a new weapon. We're gonna grab the mine or the tomb. And then finally we're gonna finish the fight. Halo style. While we drive there, I fully suspect that we're gonna see our good friend. I would expect. I could... Oh shoot, I needed, oh man, I should have, I should have finished off our train first, but that's okay. Okay, where are we at? Okay, so we got a little bit of time here. We're gonna have to do a double train transition. A little, that's what I call it, the, the double train transition. Double track, double track attack. We are booking it, man. It's a huge map. I understand why though, the track has to be massive in order for you to have plenty of room to fight Charles. Here we go. Stop, stop train, stop, stop train, stop train. There you go. I love how it takes like a mile for it to actually slow down enough. Switch. Ooh, it's ominously raining now. Okay, we're, this is a short little one. Oh, Charles is a coming. Okay. Like I see him. Burn, baby! There we go. Well, we're just gonna have to do this fight now. Burn again. And burn a little bit. Burn slightly. Ooh, what did we hit? We are running through stuff and I have no clue what it is. That's fine. It's all okay. Burn. I like that these battles against Charles are literally just like, be patient while he slowly twitches. Ah, oh, burn! Super Charles. Super Charles is gonna have a lot of work ahead of him if he plans on attacking me. Just saying. This is fine. We are so far off track, unfortunately. Ha, pun. Pun slightly intended. Oh, we're getting so far off track right now. TTT, it's a green thing. This battle is off the rails. Oh, we're going off the rails! On a crazy train. The fact that, you know, I maybe one day when this game gets a AAA budget, if they can license Crazy Train, I feel like that would be a, a, a huge win for this franchise. Going off the rails on a crazy train! Or, really though, no, Charles. Fire! Fire is, is really Charles' weakness here. Like, let's be honest, I have a rocket launcher at this point, but why would I even bother using it when fire just scares him to no end. Oh, 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 we were at the bridge that he's scared of. And he's gone. Oh, he was scared of the bridge. Well then, that, uh, well, I think we're, we've made the loop, right? We're at the end of the island. So we're not as bad off as I expected. This is actually not too awful of a loop now. And it collected us a lot of scraps. So now we can max out. And any other scraps, now we're just completely maxed out on everything, which is crazy. And it also means that now any scraps that we do just go to hell. So if we're in the middle of a Charles battle and we start to die, we just heal up. <laughs> I don't know how it works. Excuse me, one second, Charles. I need to repair my train using these random scraps I've assembled. It's all good. Uh, on one hand, I'm like, I'm just going to stick with fire in the fi final Charles battle, because why wouldn't I? But... Wait, are you kidding me? He's back. Dude. Dude. You better not be back. Are you back? Please don't be back. Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! 
There's Charles. What? Okay. Okay, everyone. Okay. Hey. Okay. Hey. I'm just, gonna, I'm just gonna run away now. Thanks. Thanks, everyone, for your for your thoughts and prayers. Okay, bye. Well, here, here we find ourselves again. Does he still have low health? Okay, good. Because that was gonna suck if, he, if we had to start this whole thing again. Well, that was just wonderful. Rewind. Let's reset, shall we? <laughs> oh, that's really funny. Coming for you, Charles. You ain't ready for this. Okay, here we go. Now we're close. Where's my normal gun? Well, on the plus side, we were able to finish off a bunch of cultists, so that was fun. Bonus scrap. Yeah, we could use some more scrap now that we... I love that it's the cultists who do more damage to us with their individual bullets than the giant spider train does with its giant spider train legs. Just saying. When it comes to things to fear in this game, Charles is not it. <laughs> It is the guy- Oh, Oh, those are horrific! It's like dark Teletubby masks. Oh, spookies. Alright, let's- let's get- let's get Bob! They just all descended upon me at once. Oh, we got some lore though. We've been digging for over a month, and I'm beginning to wonder what, what we're really doing here. There are ancient stone ruins above ground, as well as ruins being discovered underground. Some sort of temple in a large cavern was uncovered as one of the other mines. Are we really digging for gold veins? Okay, well, that is reiterating lore that we have, we have already heard a couple times, so... I feel pretty good about my understanding of that component of this game. Okay, open that up. Probably someone inside trying to kill me. As you do. You know. Oh no, it's that guy who worked at the museum that one time. Ooh, got a key. That's exciting. Oops, what's inventory? What's the key for? Mountain ruin key. A small gold key can be used to open a recently excavated ruin. Broken bob. Mob camp key. Unlock a nearby building. Lock picks and temple key. It's where Charles is summoned. So we got a, we got ourselves a whole heap and helping of stuff right now. Uh, let's see. A nearby building, eh? Awesome. Uh, let's see, where is this nearby building? Usually things in this game are pretty close to each other, so... It must be this large thing down here. Just scale down, quick. So let's see, we started exploring here. Uh, this one? Yeah, there it is. More cultist masks. Worshipping the demon spider train. I don't think the demon spider train ca cares about you guys. I hate to tell you, the eldritch gods aren't aren't caring too much about you. I hate to break it to you. It's not doing much for your health and safety. Uh, over here, this one. Have I checked this building? I don't think I have. What do we got? There's a doorway. Lit oh. Door. Door, please. Oh, there you are. Great. Uh, all the way around. Oh, there it is. Yeah! Let's repair Bob! This one's for Bob! Bob acquired. <laughs> Assemble one Bob. Can I grab the shotgun? It would be great to have, you know, a means of defense that isn't tied to stationary uh, train tracks. That'd be, that'd be wonderful, just saying. <laughs> call, call me crazy, you know, but it, it, it would help. Just, just a skosh. Just, 
just a little bit beneficial. Oh, we need to go backwards, actually. We'll go back, we'll change the tracks, then we'll go this way, and then great. Yeah. But really, there are just shotguns lying everywhere in this game. Just all over the map. So having the ability to, you know, use them to defend myself in certain situations would be tremendously helpful. Oh, my train just left me. It, <laughs> like, just went away. It's a good thing that my guy is good at cardio. Because even though we have a train to get around, boy, let me tell you, we've got a lot of running to do. I want a train. Do you? Would you like a train? I think that'd be so fun. Christmas present? Early Christmas present? Yeah, just like an entire train. The, oh, wow, the whole thing. Yeah. Whole nine yards. Yes. All the train. Yep, caboose and all. Oh, caboose and all. Wow. Okay. Yeah. yeah. I just, I don't know. I think it'd be fun. I grew up near a very robust railroad system. Did you? Yes. So my entire childhood was choo-choo. Very train-centric, huh? Yes. And I'm, I'm ready to go back to my roots. Yeah? You're there, huh? Oh, yes. I mean, come on. Like... I, I just feel like, what kid growing up didn't like trains? Trains are pretty fascinating. Right? I always thought it would be fun to do what you always see in like TV and movies, where you hop aboard the train, like you, you climb into a, a box car, uh -huh. and then you just kind of like ride the rails, you know? Yeah. And it becomes kind of a mystery. Yes. We did, uh, we did a show early in... Uh, not early in the channel's life, but like midway through the channel, mm -hmm. uh, like maybe like five, six years ago at this point. It was called The Runner, and the original premise was like people sneaking across the country, and like there's a group of hunters trying to like catch them. Ah, okay. It was a, it was a very- Hey, get out of here! Oh, get out of here! Who saw me? <laughs> get okay. out of here. No, you get no, out of here! No, you! Okay, well, I'm listening to you, so bye. You're so right, I'm gone. So true. Oh. Well, hey, you, you know, I listen to your instructions, my man. Just saying. You don't have to... Don't it's have to not keep necessary. Going. Right? I'm, I, I followed the letter of the law. Oh, man, I can't find my train. Oh, no. Where is he at? Oh, there he is. Okay. Well, there he is. Hey, guys, come follow me. If there's, if there's any evil cultists, please follow me. This will just make my life easier in a second. <laughs> Let me introduce you. I got this really cool new thing called Bob. He's my buddy. Here, you want me to introduce you to Bob? Nope, that's the black I want to. Okay, whatever. I'm gonna introduce you to something. Woo. Hey! Oh, look at this guy. Oh, there he is. Did I get him? Nope, he's still moving. Hey, bud. <laughs> I can't even see them. After right? Oh, I see. Is that a thing? Is that a thing moving? Or that's just the top of a hill. Unclear. It might be a tree. I might be shooting a tree right now. Oh, no one came back. No one came with me. Wow. Oh. Tragic. Right, that makes me a little bit sad. Reverse, reverse. Oh, and here comes. Here comes my train friend. Oh, of course. No, I'm, I'm, I'm just going to the mine. Charles, oh no. I was gonna say oh, Charles, no. Charles can deal with it. Oh, can I get to the mine before he gets to me? Can I get to the mine before he gets to me? Oh, yeah. Get, get dunked on Charles! It's like, it's like soldiers in like Gears of War games can't get over chest high walls. Charles in this game can't get through like, you know, human sized doors. He's like, no, my arch nemesis. Now then, where can I pee? Has the guard left his post? Is this empty now? He's like, well. Did, did he chase you out? Nope. Oh, I hear something. Okay. I can't, I can't see a thing. It's like, let me look through this very thin slat. Oh, there he is, okay. I heard whistling, and I see nothing. Great. This is, this is stellar. 
something about the sneak mechanic in here. Get out, get out, just in, just in case, let me hide behind this very large gapped wooden structure, it's fine. These wooden shelving units will keep me protected. Okay, so I see what's going on here. So there, this was the first, like, main room, and that's the guy who spotted me. Okay, so now we're in the secondary room. Here again. Don't worry. Don't mind me! Obviously hiding! Do 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 do! Okay, there he is. I see him. I see him making his rounds. You're in the wrong place, my friend! Are you kidding me? Oh, there was one hiding, I think. Get out of here. I hate all of you. <laughs> all of you are garbage. Well, we're just gonna run. Yeah, I, think I mean, why is, not? I think this is the optimal strat strategy here. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Oh, oh. oh, jeez. Oh, they are. Well. Bye. <laughs> Bye, guys. Hey! Oh, come on. Hey. All right. Well, here we are. I mean, you're still at full health. Here we so. are. This is fine. I'm fine with this. This is totally okay. Snatched. S right? And run away. I'm missing paint, I'm sure. I'm missing all sorts. Oh, there. okay. Bye, bye. bye. <laughs> okay, okay. I'm sure I'm missing all sorts of stuff. But you know what? Such is life. Oh, there's the paint right there. Bummer. Fire. Bye. <laughs> See what ya. If, what if it was pink? <laughs> it might have been pink. Aww. It's. We already have the best color. It's purple train. Yeah, we do have purple train, Get which up. makes me feel good about things. Right? We have purple train. It's okay. I don't even know if pink is an option, but for right. some reason I get the energy of that was pink. Oh wow, we are so far away from our train right now. It is unfortunate. Probably should have marked it on my map before I was being stalked by people wielding shotguns, but you know. Hindsight is 2020, they say. Oh, they can't shoot a moving target. Zigzag! Zigzag! Serpentine! It's like an alligator. I'm gonna shoot you! I'm gonna shoot you! I'm gonna shoot you! <laughs> this game has some great catchphrases. I'm gonna shoot you! And then you have. Pickles! 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 I love my pickles! Alright, well, here's my trade. Has he, has he stayed with me at this point? Or no? Yeah, he has, okay. Ah. I'm so sorry. <laughs> oh! Oh, pickles! Alright, here's our last one, finish the fight. I will say, like, the voice acting in this game kind of slaps. It, in, it goes pretty hard. In, in the best way possible. It is so delightfully cheesy. I love it so much. Okay, here we go. Which way do we want to go? We want to go to the right, I believe. So we're just going to flip it. Flip it good. There we go. Ooh, spooky, ominous clouds. Oh, man. Okay, let's finish the flight. We're, we're about to end this. This is it. We're going to end this. It's gonna be a long battle against Charles. Just saying, like. Well, we have a pretty decent scrap stockpile. No, right? we do have a we do have, we have a good stockpile, and I believe the train tracks are oriented in a way where, if we have to make a couple loops around, it'll be okay. I believe. I should probably map out like which ones are which, but we're just gonna we're just gonna no roll with it. Oh, get, you, you know what? You're right. I am tras trespassing. I, I can't disagree with you on that note. But hey, we're also close to my train, so I'm going to try to shoot you. I'm sorry. For, forgive Stop me. Stop right there! Y you know... You better run! Where are you? Wait. Oh, hey. Oh. <laughs> Bomb strikes again! Well, glad we had this time together. How's my train health? There we go. Here we go. Let's infiltrating, take two. Or not. Or just slowly leading people back to my death train, one at a time, to pick them off. Because again, I do not have enough foresight to arm myself with a shotgun. Which I remind everyone, are laying everywhere. I 
hear him doing his guard duty. Great. I'm just gonna, I'm just, I'm just gonna go in here. Don't mind me. Yeah! To the main event! Achievement unlocked. Here it is. Ooh, buddy. I'm ready, Charles. I got my eggs. Gonna put them in the strange prism that destroys them, I guess. Also, I have no hands. I'm gonna use my psychic com That's why I don't have a shotgun, Ash. I have no hands. Oh. But I can psychically control the eggs. Step put it in. From the shrine, <gasps> stranger. Oh, I'm dead. You don't know what you're doing. I don't, Just really. Just put the egg down slowly and lay flat on the ground. You'll hurt far too many people if you follow through with whatever you're planning. Whatever you say, Monopoly man. Oh, okay, never mind. Psych! No, Do not shoot him no. still. Do not shoot him. You fool! You doomed us all! That's so well. Oh, they're Charles! He's like, I'm on my eggs! Oh, 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 no! Oh, he got burned. <laughs> He's getting spawnier. Oh, he's upset. Run, run, go, go, go! Yeah, see? Th this is why you don't worship evil demon trains. Oh! Oh no, Warren! Just slurping him down like spaghetti! <laughs> that was awesome, actually. Oh, jeez. Okay, fire the train! Shoot him until he's dead. Oh, that's awesome, actually. I kind of love it. Oh, wait, I don't want this gun. I'm on my, I'm on my flame flower. Why would I use this gun? This gun is not my flamethrower. I think you put that on once you left the train. I know, I did. You know what, though? I'm just going to keep it on until Charles starts beasting me, because this seems to be keeping him sufficiently at bay. <laughs> Honestly? It's oh, oh, jeez! He can teleport! Oh, he's held Charles! Um, heck, Charles? Yeah, heck, Charles. You're right. H double, H double toothpicks, Charles! H double hockey sticks, Charles! I'm just going to... Oh, he squeezed through. He's... Oh! Oh, he be teleporting, bro. Oh, oh, heck, Charles. Okay. I love that he can teleport now. That's awesome, actually. Yeah, that is pretty cool. The moon is huge. Right? Okay, hey, heck, Charles. Heck, Charles. Oh, he's gonna teleport again. Okay, there he's coming from. Oh, heck, Charles. I like that I'm still using my basic gun from the beginning of the game. <laughs> that this finished the fight. All the side missions I did were deemed ultimately useless. It's fine. Okay. 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 Oh, you need to teleport. He chose to teleport further away from me. Oh. Oh, you be mad again. Oh, hello. Just to remind you, I still can teleport. I still have that ability. Oh. This is not the wooden bridge. Oh, hello. Oh, oh, hey. You know what? I'm. You know what? Just for posterity's sake, I might want to team it up. Maybe. I don't know. I'm doing okay, actually. <laughs> you know, I'm just gonna slowly, slow. Oh, oh, we got a little. Oh, we got a little, little damage. Up. Okay, okay, now we're gonna heal up. Heal up. Heal up. Okay. Ooh, okay, okay. 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 He's easy. Play there. Okay. Hey. Hey, hey, Charles, get out here. Oh, there it is. See, that's the Charles I know and love. The twitchy Charles who doesn't like fire. <laughs> Teleport your way through this one! Well, he, he decided to listen to me. Okay, oh, oh, he be teleporting a lot now. He's also like, oh, it hurts so bad. Stop, wait, who hit me? Oh, that was me over, overloading the fire. Sorry. Twitch! Twitch! Oh, is this the wooden bridge? Oh man, we missed the wooden bridge, didn't we? Right, that was the wooden bridge. I'm gonna have to have a long way back around on the on the train if that was the wooden bridge. Well, give me time to cool down my gun. Ooh, hello. Get out here, Charles. You really almost got him. Right? I mean, at this point, oh, hello. Oh, he's coming up the side. Oh, hi. Nope, <laughs> missed. <laughs> oh, yeah. oh, oh! Oh, he, he's dead. He's, oh. Now it's just getting him to the bridge. Oh, did they teleport us to the bridge or what? 
Okay, there it is. There's the bridge. Yeah! <laughs> Take that, you Thomas the Tank Engine reject! Oh! Oh! no! Oh, oh, he didn't deserve that. Oh, that's horrific. He's just a big spider mom protecting the spider babies. Oh, wow. And that's it. <laughs> there's the, I love that there's no postscript. <laughs> no nothing. Oh. Oh, poor Charles. I kind of feel bad about that. Well, I guess that's one way to kill, you know. Thomas the Tank Engine and his friends. Man. That was brutal. That's bonkers. Two star games. I gave this five stars, my Right? Dude. I was going to say, I think you're underselling yourself, guys. Five star games. Five star games. Maybe after this game, they've upgraded to three stars. Oh, wait, hold on. Is it another egg? We already found the red egg. It's just a secondary red egg. Oh, he's gonna hatch. To little baby. Little baby spider. Little baby spider train. I like that the uh, rocks around it look like a hand holding the egg. Can I destroy this? This is the egg that I destroyed. Looks like it at least. Oh! There's a lot of eggs. And I love that there's train tracks that go straight. Oh. We've only just begun. Man, if that mining operation was trying to, like, find gold... Oh wait, but there's a train track there! There was a train track that led to it! I don't know. I don't know. And now the screen's black because something strange has happened in the settings between that final cutscene and where we are now. So let's just go full screen again because we are done with the game. All right. That oh. was weird. That was a weird ending. <laughs> as far as the you guys not being able to see it. Oh, man! Choo Choo Charles! Man, dude. It looks like Warren had found the whole stockpile of eggs. I'm just saying. There was a train track that led directly to it. But so. still, like, what? what's his motive? That's where no, they're to uncover. They they said that it was to maybe take over the world, that he wanted the that he wanted the spider trains to take over the world. That was the thought. Mm. Are we mining gold or are we mining eggs? But like, right? For it feels what? he was so scared of it too. He though. was scared of it though. He's like, you're gonna doom us all. But I don't know if that was to doom us all because it's gonna make Charles angry, and then he was just afraid, like and and mutate him, and they were just afraid that it was gonna make him worse? Or was Warren actually collecting the eggs to destroy? He wasn't destroying them. He was protecting them, preserving them. Was he trying to hatch them himself? I guess that is the question. Like, was Warren good or evil? I don't know if there's a lot to go on. I, I will have to look into whether or not there's enough here for a theory. I feel like, I feel, here's my thing. Here's my approach. I think that almost every piece of media, you can have at least a theory out of it. You know, here you could look at like, how strong is trains? How, how strong are trains? How strong is trains? How strong is trains? <laughs> How strong is trains? No, um, but like legitimately, you know, the fact that these guys and their like shotguns are hurting us, the fact that we're shooting at Charles with a flamethrower and like, you know, some, some types of like automatic rifles and stuff, like what damn, if this is truly a spider creature, because we see it in the old tablet, right? A spider creature who's crawled into or has like taken possession of a a train exoskeleton, right? My question is like, okay, so we're shooting this thing, but like, are we actually doing damage to it? Like really, if we're shooting the outside of a metal train and the actual living creature is inside of it or fused inside of it, are we, how much damage are we really doing? You know, flamethrower, is that really doing a whole lot? So uh, that, that would be the questions I have. Super fun game. I thought this was a lot of fun. This was great. It was made by like a super small team, maybe like one, I, I you saw the credits. Um, Everyone in the comments was saying it was made by one person. I can't verify if that's true, but I do know it was a small team uh, at the very least. So it was, it was great. This was fun. 
Uh, was it the most polished thing in the world? No. But did it need to be? No. It was awesome. A little bit short. I wish it would have been longer. I could. I would have loved to have done more missions. It was super fun. Uh, and yeah, just riding around on a crazy purple train with its demon horns. Awesome. So, across the board, Choo Choo Charles, this was a win. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I certainly did. And, you know, I... Oh, what's... Ashes. Oh, do you, you want me to give it a clap and a half? I, I mean, I'm, I'm happy to give it a clap and a half. I think you should. Clap and a half to Choo Choo Charles? Absolutely. Gets the GT Live review of a full clap and a half. It might have gotten... It might be five two-star games, and we might rate it five stars, but the true rating that ultimately matters is us giving it the clap and a half. One full clap and a half. So there you go, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did. Uh, I look forward to more in the Choo Choo Charles series because... I don't know, I think people have liked this, so hopefully they do more with it in the future. And as always, my friends, remember it wasn't a live stream, but it was a video. A video for you. I'll see ya!